A recent report found misinformation about Georgia's Senate runoff election is running rampant on Facebook. The group of Oz found as of November 20th, Facebook had not flagged 60 percent of misinformation posts, which reached thousands of voters. This is despite the safeguards Facebook says it put into place to slow the spread of misinformation. To talk more about the report, we have CBSN technology reporter Dan Patterson joining us now. Hi, Dan. Great to see you. First of all, what is Avaz and what was their process for reaching these findings? Hey, Tanya. So Avaz is in, uh, they're a nonpartisan nonprofit NGO that produces white papers and reports about things like online disinformation, climate change, wealth inequality, and other topics. So uh, they used some of Facebook's own tools. Facebook actually publishes a suite of tools that are pretty useful uh, that hook into their APIs. These are application programming interface. Uh, that jargon just means that it's code that allows other code to kind of pull down data out uh, in a fairly neutral way. So they used uh, the APIs for uh, CrowdTangle, which is a um, tracking tool that Facebook publishes. They pulled up 204 posts um, and identified 12 false claims. Now, that seems like a fairly small amount. Uh, this was over this past fall. When you look at the amount of inter interactions, though, it's pretty staggering. They came away with 643,000 interactions with those false claims. So uh, what that demonstrates is that a very small sample can produce a an incredibly large group of interactions on inauthentic um, misinformation and disinformation. Can you give us some specific examples of the kind of misinformation they found? Yeah, Tanya. So some of these posts, again, according to the uh, Avaz research, included false claims about alleged vote fraud, uh, potential acts of violence targeting African-American voters in the state. Um, one claim about uh, Senate candidate Raphael Warnock uh, allegedly supporting Fidel Castro and uh, the repeated claim that dead people had voted in Georgia. Again, these are false claims uh, that circulated pretty rapidly across Facebook. And how are Facebook's systems to track these posts supposed to work? And, you know, are we now seeing that these systems are being exploited and reverse engineered? Yeah, that's kind of what we're seeing right now, Tanya. So I did reach out to Facebook a few times uh, before this segment. We haven't heard back from them yet, but they're usually pretty helpful in identifying this kind of stuff. So uh, according to Avaz, um, the way Facebook systems work, and Facebook has published about this as well, uh, is that they have this group of third-party fact-checkers from news organizations, nonprofits, and other respected institutions that flag some of these false claims, in this case, in and around the Georgia Senate election. Um, and by flagging these claims, it identifies the um, the item, the asset, the published post uh, to Facebook's artificial intelligence, their machine learning systems that are supposed to then crawl through the rest of Facebook and find other instances of that content. Now, what Avaz says, and I talked to the researchers yesterday, is that Facebook's systems, their AI, just weren't as good as they're purported to be. Uh, Facebook talks their machine learning systems up pretty highly, and Avaz found that they just just didn't do a good job of labeling uh, copycat type of content. And one reason uh, the researcher said is that um, bad actors, hackers, and those who have incentive to spread disinformation have kind of reverse engineered that process and figured out the, uh, the triggers within Facebook's AI that will flag or allow different types of content. It's kind of a game of, of cat and mouse, and right now it looks like the mouse mm -hmm. is beating the cat. So what did Avaz conclude that Facebook needs to do moving forward to, to better prevent the spread of this misinformation? Do they just need to update their AI algorithms? Is that what it comes down to? Well, kind of. You know, this is where it gets really interesting. Um, so they said, yeah, it, they do need to update these systems, but they do a lot of good things in these systems. Uh, they just need to be better. But the reason is... Uh, 
kind of interesting. And the reason they say is that Facebook puts a lot more resources, not just money, but also engineering brains into solving challenges like facial recognition and other things that are unrelated to solving the spread of mis and disinformation. And that if they put the same amount of resources into um, AI that flagged, spotted, stopped and removed um, false claims, uh, their systems themselves would actually work pretty well. Again, I did reach out to Facebook. I know that they are constantly evolving their AI systems. So it will be kind of interesting to hear from them about what they think of the Avaz claims and uh, their own machine learning systems. We will be talking to you again, I'm sure, Dan, about this very topic. Dan Patterson, thank you so much. Great to see you.